Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another Morning Word. For those new to this, this is where we share a couple minute video really to share from my own personal Bible study. Why? I just really wanted people to get into the Bible because I truly believe that it could change your life. I know it to change people's lives. I've seen it and I've witnessed it personally for myself. Now, the, the main theme is as a man thinketh, so is he. If we can think like God, guess what? God can take us through our valleys and get us to our mountain tops. God has taken me through incredible valleys and taken me to mountain tops I never thought I would experience. So let's really get into this. The one thing I should say, not a pastor, not an evangelist, not a teacher. Okay, what I am is someone who loves God. So whatever I'm saying, check it out for yourself. And if you believe it to be true, research it, read it yourself, implement it. And I'm telling you, it will have a dramatic impact on your life. If you, if you stay steadfast reading this book. So let's get into this. That's enough of me talking. We're going to be reading from the book of Numbers and we're going to be reading from chapter 33, verse 55. And it reads this. But if you do not drive out the, the wicked inhabitants of the land, those you allow to remain will become um, barred in your eyes and thorns in your side. They will give you trouble in the land where you live. Now, when Israelite, with the nation of Israelite, um, Israel was taking over, obviously, the promised land, now that they had a lot of enemies. And God says, listen, once, obviously, you've conquered those lands, make sure that you get rid of the inhabitants, move them on, okay? Don't allow them to live where you're living because they will corrupt you, okay? Now, the, God understood that if they that the nation of Israelite would have been a nation that was tempted by other people's beliefs and things like that, so some of them would have switched. They knew that, but the nation of Israel, Israel, they had somewhat inclinations that will allow people to stay. Uh, they seem okay, or you know, their practices are not that bad, or actually they could be a benefit to us, whether that be helping us on the land or helping us to rebuild and things like that. What they fail to understand is actually those people would have a big influence on them than they would have an influence on them. Does that make sense? So we've got to be really careful in terms of obviously keeping people around that will actually be more destructive for our life than a benefit for our life. Let's give you some like uh, examples. You know, you have someone who's gone into their promised land of kicking drugs, you know, and they've kicked the habit, they're clean now, but their best friend refuses to get clean. Now that best friend's been there and that, you know, the person who's now clean says, I can't get rid of my best friend, man. We've been through thick and thin. All right, so he stays around. And you know, the influence of his friend unfortunately causes him to relapse. Now, it would have been better for him to sever that relationship, okay, until his friend got clean and said, listen, I can't be around you at the moment. I'm trying to stay clean myself and it's too much temptation. But because he didn't do that, he relapsed. And that happens, unfortunately. That does happen. Or well, what about you're in a, you know, you've been in a destructive relationship and you sever that relationship but because you're trying to be harmonious with your former partner, what happens is, is that they still have an effect on your mood and your swing and your, your mood and your emotions because they, they say certain things or they do certain things and you know it riles you up. You would have been better just to sever and said, okay, let's both of us move on, do your thing, God bless you. But no, you try to stick around. And sometimes we've got to get rid of destructive influences in our lives. Stop keeping them around. You've got to let them go. So here's the, the question of the day. Question of the day is this. Are you holding on to something that eventually will destroy you? Are you holding on to a person that you know shouldn't be around that eventually will destroy you? Here's the lesson of the day. If we know there is something in our life that we need to let go of, but don't because we're afraid or it doesn't seem like such a bad thing, it will become the source of your destruction. If you know there's something in your life that you'll need to get rid of today, you know it ain't good, you know it ain't serving you, you know it ain't uh, encouraging you, it ain't developing you, get rid of it. Because it will be the source of your destruction if you allow it to fester. So that's the action of the day. Remove anything that is unhealthy in your life. You know what's unhealthy. I don't need to tell you what that is. You know what's unhealthy. And don't wait any longer. Stop procrastinating on, procrastinating on it. If you know you should get rid of it, get rid of it today. So God bless you. I really pray that this blesses somebody today. And you know, if one person's life is changed by this, yo, God, God is God is good. <laughs> okay. So listen, as we always say with Gen Hope, God's gift to us is life. What we do with that life is our gift back to God. God bless you. Uh, please subscribe to our YouTube channel where you get these videos Monday to Friday. Um, please share this with anyone who's trying to learn the Bible or trying to find some form of inspiration, not from me, but from God. 
So God bless you and see you soon for the next morning. Bye.